Hey, 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 my name is Polish Links. It is Katawa Shoujo time. Next day, Misha is back in class. I was still looking pretty sullen. Not that I was expecting her to magically feel better. That would be asking the impossible considering what happened. This time it's Shizune who is out. At first it almost makes me laugh that suddenly, whenever one is in class, the other isn't. But think about it, there is nothing about funny at all about it. In fact, I find it hard to concentrate on my work because of that. It could be that she's just sick. Or she could simply be skipping class. Or probable. It could also be something more serious. And I'm tempted to ask Misha if she knows, but I end up doing nothing. I don't regret stepping in yesterday. Scared that Misha would do something rash. But now I feel like I should give her some space. Eventually the bell rings and Misha gets up for lunch. Along with everyone else I decide to eat lunch in an empty classroom today. Just not this one. That disgusting painting, here it is. Unfortunately a lot of other students seem to have the same idea. So there aren't a whole lot of empty classrooms to go around. Finally, as I'm about to give up on the idea I find a dark one at the end of the hall. On turning the lights on, however, I find out that this one is, isn't empty either. Liz's head turns in my direction, which freaks me out before I realize she probably heard me flipping the light switch. Hello? Hi Lily! I didn't think anyone else would be here. Is that you, Hisao? Yeah, but you probably knew that already. I turn to leave, which prompts Lily to quickly speak up. You don't have to leave so quickly. We can both have lunch in the same room. As a matter of fact, I would prefer to eat with someone else. I'm about to ask her how she knew I was here to eat lunch, but brush it aside. I mean, lunch break. It's just simple common sense, and I don't want to seem too easily impressed. I take a seat at the desk in front of her. After reversing it to face hers. Also, this is a new scene. So, I guess something changed with that choice. <laughs> I've heard that our minds fill in a lot of what we see based on how we remember things once before or our expectations. <laughs> Mostly for efficiency, so as to not have to process everything you look at individually. <laughs> Lee never seems to stop to question any noise. So I wonder, is it because her mind is feeling to in context every time? Or does she not care and just sort of accept things as they fall into place? On her desk, there are just a few cookies and a thermos of a tea. She must be one of those light lunch types. Yeah, I mean, I don't eat lunches, so... Yeah. I bite to my sandwich. Some of the ingredients spill out the back end. Ugh. We haven't spoken in a long time. I'm surprised that you still remember my name. Of course I do. <laughs> It must be very busy in the student council. It's different every week. Some weeks are pretty slow. Some weeks I consider taking a sick day. Hold on, Lily. I need a second to catch my breath from inhaling that sandwich. And how has it been lately? Unpredictable. I still have fingers, which from her facial expression upsets her a lot. I think that you have been hanging out around those two too much. Yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's truthful. I guess it is one of Susan's trademarks. Personally, I like it. I don't. Why would you? Why, why would you like this? Snapping your fingers for no reason. I ignore it. Her tone doesn't change even slightly, but Lee's mood has obviously dipped. Doesn't seem like it'll be easy to. I've been trying to figure out how she can make it so loud, but I think I'm damaging my knuckles. If I feel loud enough to break the windows, I would ignore it. I'm not a trained seal. I have that luxury. Nice, exactly. This is what he said to her as well uh, when she snapped, you know, that I'm a do not a dog, so don't snap at it. S uh, don't snap at me. Yeah. Are you still mad about that? 
I asked the question as carefully and diplomatically as possible, although in the end I'm only asking to satisfy my curiosity. No, of course not. Although I don't like Shizune. Understandable. Where did I mean I don't dislike her, okay? But I also don't like her. Still, she's a nice kind of. Uh, kind of. Neutral to me? Something like this. I don't know if you can call it that, but whatever. Also, don't mind me saving picture right now. We were in the student council together for a brief time. So I heard, yeah. Uh, so... I guess you didn't enjoy it. I wish you hadn't been so quick to join. Same, same. I don't like the way she's gonna run the student council. Understandable. Do you know that she's scared of most of the old members? That's why I think she tries to surround herself with people who don't want to oppose her. Pretty much, pretty much. I then don't. It's like a depend dependency bubble. I'm sure that she's not aware of what Lily is saying. After all, after all, I can remember her specifically denying it a couple times, which I'd always thought it was strange. They say that the more specific an denial is, the more likely it is that the allegations are true. In this case, I think I disagree, which is not true, and it's basically a wrong approach of yours. She's not one object on which her opinion could be called less than objective. Did you tell her that? Very often. Lee stops to polish off the last over tea. I'm running behind on finishing my own lunch and take advantage of the pause to eat as much as possible. All of her friends are related to the student council, like Misha. <laughs> End of list. I heard things are touchy between her and Misha. Did they have a fight? Mm, not really. Is that so? Either way, there is no point attempting to force them to make up. Always try to confront everything I don't is what Shuzne would do, but it does work in the real world. At some point, it's just being stubborn, not bravery or good intentions. That's also true. That's a little general, don't you think? Hmm, I suppose. What do you think is the best to have with tea? Cookies or scones? Cookies. I like them both in different ways. I couldn't possibly choose. I mean, I'm saying cookies by, because I never had scones with tea, so... I don't like people who constantly force me to pick sides or want to turn everything into a contest. Yeah? Why turn everything into a contest? A contest can be something that is actually competitive, but not everything like she does. I so agree with you. When I joined the student council, I thought it would just mean helping everything run smoothly and helping people out, like being the class representative. Instead, every day, instead of having students stomp around, using Misha like a megaphone, talk about how we had to outdo the last student council and create more and more events and make them increasingly larger. Larger doesn't mean better. Like the events. Or open worlds in video games. That is the truth. Just because you make a larger open world doesn't make it better. Because no matter how you look at it, usually the larger world means you have less to do actually. The huge problem. But then the two of you basically when want the same thing. All the stuff makes things exciting. I didn't really get it at first, but it's not some ego project. People like fireworks and soba hats, candied apples, dress up days, whatever. The more the student council does, the more responsibility the school gives us. It means extra work, but in a way, it also means freedom. Does it now? You have to pull to do things like organize a big festival and they think you're capable enough to handle it instead of just rejecting it in instantly. Yeah, but... Dude... You're not getting the point! There is someone who has the wrong approach to all of that. Anyway, I want that to now. 
it's got its share of pointless bees work, but there are moments that make it worth when everything comes together. It gives me something to do. If I were just go to school day day, day out, I think I would explode. Why? Ah, I think Yamaku is much more easy going than other schools. Yamaku is in the other schools for. I start sleeping with another familiar mentality. In some ways, it's almost too easy going. And if I were a different person, I'm sure that I would find how easy going it was to be stifling. For another school, such easiness would just be normal flow of life. But there, here, sorry, but here, the uneventfulness would be compounded. It would feel different because I'm not a normal person after all. What? What do you mean? Does he mean he's not normal because he has a heart condition? I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't describe it that way, but okay. Kind of bad choice of words, I guess. I'd be reminded of it every time I heard the blood beat in my temples. I'd feel patronized and weak and my bitterness would only grow. Yeah, sure. The point is, I think I understand what it's all about now. You're really giving Shuznet too much of a hard time. No, she's not! It's the other way around! That might be true, but when it comes to how she treats individual people, she doesn't do very well. Yeah, that's true. Unfortunately, that one is a little hard, harder to argue. It's not a little harder, it's impossible to argue. Do you have time? I'll like to talk last 10 minutes before the bell. Then you're right on time if you go now. Excuse herself, little leaves, and I sit listening to the clicking of her cane on the floor, fanned to the mumble of the other students, having conversations in the other classrooms and in the hall. I feel exhausted and completely forget that I won't talk to Shizune today. It's fine. Okay, so that was like the first change so far. First little change. No. Why do we have to see this disgusting painting second time already? After classes the next day, I instantly head towards the student council room to talk to Shizune. Even for she's in class, trying to cut her off and have a conversation with her near the doorway or out in the hall could be a little obstructive. Better to try and beat the up with her at the student council room. I take my time heading there, getting a juice from the vending machine on the way. I also go over what I want to say to her in my head. It's nothing too important, only a few questions about upcoming events. The door is unlocked when I get there. I'd think there was empty too if I couldn't see Shuzune's back perched on her desk. With the top of her head what's with the music? With the top of her head peeking from behind it. It looks as though she's built herself a little fort. Shizune gives away from behind her back before picking it up with a finger and moving it out of the way. But after that, she immediately goes back to tapping her pen against the desk and staring with a checklist as if, it, as if it held the meaning of life itself in it. What do you need? Uh, I wanted to see if there was anything I could help with, like all that over there. What are those? I point to the medium sized stock of folders beside her, but she waves her hand dismissively. I can handle it myself. Then, what about the elections? Also, where's Misha? It's going okay, and I told Misha that I was going to handle everything myself. Hmm. I see. Why? She's gonna spin in her hand slowly, working between each of her fingers like a needle through a patch of cloth. No reason. Really? No reason. She signs it again for impasses to shut down the notion that there is anything more behind it. But there is, since she's definitely not acting normally. I mean, where, where does she act? When does she act normal? I have to. What's with the silent treatment? Did she find out of his secret? That he's been hiding for a few episodes? She might have. Let's find out in this episode of Katawa Shoujo. What's with the silent treatment? 
is the phrase that immediately springs to mind, even though it is hardly the time for humor. It does describe now, I feel, how I feel. We can't communicate normally, so I appreciate the few ways we can. To be shut out like this hurts. It's obvious that whatever her reasons, it's going to be pretty much impossible to talk to Shizune today. Beyond just being stubborn, she seems depressed, but with the way our conversation is going, Corey, I don't see myself being able to find out what she's depressed about. Somehow, that only makes me want to find out more. And that means I have to ask Misha. The problem is, I don't really know where Misha goes in her spare time. Uh, dorm? After asking way more people than I should, if they notice a girl with a bright pink hair around and getting way more negative answers than expected, I finally find a couple who have seen her. By the time I reach the cafeteria where Misha has hardly been this entire time, I've been around the whole school twice and am very tired. I realize I've passed by her before and just didn't see her behind a pillow. Why? Are you better at finding me than I am at finding you? Oh, she chan is because you suck! <coughs> you were looking... Did I say she chan? Whatever. You were looking for me, Hit-chan! Who knows? I think it's just coincidence! You know the whole point of coincidences is that they are inconsistent? <laughs> are you having a really late lunch? I didn't get to eat at lunchtime, so yeah, but not too much so I can still have dinner. Did you want to talk to me about something, Hitchan? I don't waste any time. Yeah, the reason I'm here. Did you notice Shizune has been kind of moody today? Hmm, I wanted to ask you the same thing, Hitchan. Well, except she's been this way for a couple of days now. I see, I see. Hitchan, do you think it's because of something I did? Do you think I got upset at Shichan like last time? No, no, she seems angrier at me anyway. I'm not lying, I really don't. Unfortunately, my attempts to assure her of that don't seem to be going so well in her own way. Misha is pretty stubborn too. Eventually, I just head back to my dorm. The last few days have been nothing but a continuously frustrating experience and they left me drained. I feel tired enough that I decided to take a nap. I actually want to do the same later. Hoping that maybe I'll figure things out in my sleep. Which probably will not happen. When I wake up, I feel more refreshed, but still without clarity. The only thing that has changed is that it's dark outside. From opening the window, I can tell the weather is still kind of nice. After dry swallowing my nightmare pills, I take a little walk to the vending machines. Which is... Wait, you have to go to the other building? Because I somehow doubt that... Ah, whatever. No, I kind of can't imagine that the dorm would look the same way that the school looks like. But maybe I'm wrong. They are out of everything I would normally get, so I must... I smash, I mash my hand against the buttons until something pops out. The lights are off in the main building, including the student council room, just an offhand observation. But there are two windows with lights. As I'm thinking to myself, I hear rustling behind me. I've seen this move before, and that is a very ominous sound to hear alone at night. Luckily, it's just Kenji, and he wanders out the bushes in an unusually cheery mood. Hey! The hell? Do you just creep up on people at night and casually go, hey, a lot? No, that'd be weird. I knew it was you. I have extremely good night vision. Maybe it's because I'm a superhuman. What are you doing here then? Hmm, I could ask you the same thing. What are you doing here? I considered just telling him the truth, but quickly said against it. It would take too long to explain. Holding at the moon. Hmm, I do that too sometimes. The mood isn't out tonight for... I barely even hear him. Feeling a bit resentful at the interruption. I lied to Shizune through my teeth that nothing was wrong. Or to be more exact, I lied through my hands. And at the exact same time, I was carrying on an entirely different conversation with Misha. 
That conversation understandably could upset Shuzne, but there was no way that she could have heard it. Even Misha's hands, usually signing all her thoughts were completely still, even if they weren't, I was standing in front of her, blocking them from Shizune's view. The only way that Shizune could listen in on that conversation would be if she could read lips. But she can't, right? If you tell me suddenly that she can. <sighs> that would be so annoying. Pretty much the first thing I'd asked about when taking sign language was about lip reading, just out of curiosity. It's... Not easy, nor is it perfect, so I'd never considered it until now. But hey, you can get the context out of it, I guess. It would make sense, and the room for misunderstandings while reading lips wouldn't help. So I realized that I could use the cover of darkness to buy milk. Usually I only go out when it's raining or I can shroud myself in the sea of bakas or tourists. But it's much more consistent, I spend too much money on milk now for... You seem kind of mopey or out of it or something. Don't think too hard, man. Has to be all about action. You can think about stuff all day, but changing the situation around by doing something is the best way. Damn, he's going, giving some good advices. I do things all the time without thinking about it. That's why in middle school they called me... Causes many problems. I thought it was cool. Sounds like an Indian name. Does it now? I'm not really in the mood. Having a bad day. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of distracted right now. I so distracted that it doesn't hit me until he leaves that his was actually kind of sound advice. I think Shizuna would have given the same suggestion. And then would she? By then, it's too late to thank him politely. I already responded in the rudest tone possible. I just feel like an ass. In retrospect, these past few days, I've regretted every action I've taken. The worst part is that... You mean the choice that we had to do to apparently trigger this route? Yeah, I understand. Also, it was a shitty choice. The worst part is that I haven't taken the time to stew over them and in doing so, learn from them. This only leads to... has led to... more regrets. Regrets are the worst, yeah. Kind of. The most next morning, as I'm getting dressed, I hear a knock at my door. Quickly putting on the rest of my clothes, I open it without really stopping to think about who could be behind it. It turns out to be Shizune. Misha told me that you are looking for me. I'm a bit hurt that I don't even get a good morning, but it's not too big of a deal. I was. But you found me yesterday. Shizuna's fingers tra trace a crack in the wall. It seems like she's trying her best to look distant. Well, I didn't make it easy, did I? It's alright. That's why I'm here. We can talk today, although I kind of want to go somewhere else. What about class? It's fine, it's fine. How about we take a walk around the school? Everywhere except the main building is going to be deserted. The first period bell should be ringing right now. I take a quick glance at my watch and see that she's right. Okay. Is there something wrong? Why do you think there is something wrong? Because you're obviously upset. I could just tell. It's what I want to talk to you about. She's gonna quickly grab her knuckles while I signed to her. Apparently I'm easier to read than I thought. I was trying hard to hide it. Can you tell what I'm thinking right now? Whoa. I don't respond and Shizune heads towards the door, slowly enough that I can tell she wants me to follow her. Her hands are folded behind her back, which is arced against them, as for she is about to bend over backwards at any second. And do a Jojo pose. Outside, I see Shizune is right. The school is completely deserted. Although it's not my first time seeing this school like this, it's kind of eerie. Shizune acts almost as for I'm not there, browsing a vending machine and taking a slow and winning path until we end up behind the main building. Finally, she leans against the wall and faces me, but it's like I've forgotten how to start a conversation. There is a saying. You don't know how much you screw up until you screw up. She knows. She definitely knows. Right? Who says that? I guess it's me. 
Or is it about something else? Ah, uh, I don't know anymore. Reconsidering her train of thought, she waves her hands in frustration. Okay, I'll put it differently. When I was younger, we had to make posters for every day in school. Okay, I think I actually had to do something similar. But whatever, that whatever. I mean, we definitely went... Okay, in primary school, we actually were going how to collect trash on every day. I don't understand why it was only in primary school, but it was great. Anyway, there was another girl in my class whom everyone considered the best artist. Uh-huh. It was because she could draw better than everyone else, it was how much she could fit into a single picture. Uh -huh. I want to be better than her, so I made countless posters until I ended up with the best possible one. I had to be the best and I gave have the greatest one. In the end, everyone liked my poster the most of all, even the teacher. Wow, you are weird. A week later, it was meaningless. I threw it into the trash. I think I've told you something like this before. I don't remember. Yeah. When I feel like I'm finished, I wish I could just wipe the slate clean, whether I succeed or not. I put Misha through a lot, and even dragged you into it. And every point where I could have solved this situation or prevented it from happening in the first place keeps coming back to me. It's the worst feeling, especially when I feel like I've done nothing right and everything wrong. Like recently, it's the worst kind of failure. I feel like a failure on every level. I wish I could wipe away everything I've done and just be alone, since all I've done is mess with Misha for two years and jerk you around for a year for selfish reasons. Yeah? It's fine. No, it's not, Hisao. It's not. No, it's not. You don't understand. I was just thinking about it. Everything I do feels like I have to beat someone else. Everyone else, even. If that is how it is, then what are my relationships with people? They almost feel the same. I can't see where this is going. The point is that I've messed up so many people by being selfish and now I want to be away from other people for a while. Even me. There's pause. Yes. Followed by an even longer pause. This time. From me. I see. Uh, I see. That's the most selfish thing you could do. I mean most of things were kind of it just making you it just you making another decision by yourself for me it looks as for she's considering the best way to respond but in the end she simply nods which I think is the best way to respond anyway it's bad like her to be run about even now but ultimately without excuses all my emotions simmer inside me I see a kettle in front of me Water rolling inside it so close that I can touch it and feel the heat radiating off of it. I'm glad for distraction because I know there is no recurse or bargaining possible. You told me that everything was fine, but it wasn't true, was it? I can't believe it ever again, then. Oh, alright. Not even bothering to sign it, I stand up. My hands are in my pockets, fingering my loose change. The morning air is cold against my face. As I look back at her, she seems very lonely. I'm reminded of myself. I made the expression before. Maybe it's on my face right now. It feels like the image of such a lonely girl will stick in my mind forever. Chotto Mate, you say you want... Yo, is this guy going to give up now, out of nowhere? Dude! Sure, it's selfish what she wants. Dude, act selfish yourself. Don't let her go. Every moment where I could have prevented this or solved the problem comes back to me. It makes me smile in a way without amusement. That was kind of crappy. Not gonna lie. Oh boy. Hmm... I don't know, I feel kind of empty after this ending. Like... Ah, I didn't really show much. Like, it was uh, kind of too easy. Kind of too easy. 
She was like, oh, yeah, I want to be left alone. And he, okay, walks away. What the hell, man? I mean, I get that this was supposed to be the supposed better. I mean, it was at least, I guess, not a terrible ending. And you could still think, okay, so she was uh, left to herself for some time. Maybe after, I don't know, two weeks, three weeks, a month, things got to a normal situation or something. I don't know, really. But, uh, yeah, that was the bad ending for Shizune. I'm not sure how to approach the other routes, to be honest, at the moment. Like, uh, I mean, normally in the VNs, I just go start and skip everything. I feel like over here it might not be the best way. Okay, next we are playing... Uh, I mean, I think I know which route. I kind of want to see the comparison of the choices for... Uh, like, where the differences start or something like this. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, okay, so here you do something different, here as well. Okay, so we basically have to... Okay, we... Uh, seems like we had to start basically from the very beginning. Properly. So you know what I will do actually. If this is shaped this way, that you actually have to go from the beginning. And not like some of the games where you could just skip. I mean, I don't even know if the skip works here properly. I mean, I know it goes when I press control, but I don't know if it stops uh, when you approach like the place you've never been to. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I could check this out, but maybe I won't. So basically, I believe we'll do next route um, differently than I'm used to. So we'll actually play uh, kind of the game from the very beginning and for that to happen, I believe that I might now move to playing something else quickly. Something short probably, record it, have it prepared. And when I'm done with that, we'll start the next route. I think that's sorta of good deal, hopefully. Anyway, for now, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, hope you enjoyed both routes for Shizune. Hope to see you in the next one. And in the other game, maybe, hopefully. If it interests you, which I don't know what I'm going to play, but it's fine. Anyway, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.